Good morning. Today is Thursday, March 3rd. I'm Pastor Sean, and this is your morning prayer. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has redeemed his people. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise at the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. See is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has redeemed his people. O come, let us worship him. All right, today we have Mark chapter 1, verses 14 through 28. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you, and I will make you become fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and, his, and John, his brother, who were in the boat mending their nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat, and he hired servants and followed them. Uh, with, the hired, I'm sorry, with the hired servants and followed them. And they went into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and was teaching. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority, and not as the scribes. And immediately there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him, and crying out with a loud voice, came out of him. And they were all amazed, so that they questioned them among themselves, saying, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And at once his fame spread throughout, uh, everywhere throughout all the surrounding region of Galilee. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people bold by the peop by the pro wow. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people bold by the prophets, but now in these last days, he's spoken to us by his son. It is early. All right. Um, you know, there, there's one one word that keeps jumping out and it is repeated several times in this text, and that is immediately. And this is one of the hallmarks of of Mark's gospel. Actually, you do see that word happen a lot. <laughs> Things are always happening immediately. So today, um, you know, immediately they left their nets and followed him. Immediately he called them. Uh, immediately on the Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and was teaching. Immediately there was a man in their synagogue, synagogue with an unclean spirit. Um, there's such a forward movement uh, just like a forceful forward movement going on throughout Mark's gospel. It just keeps pushing, 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 pushing. Um, like I said, a, a hallmark of, of his gospel. But also, um, I think a nice little um, subtle reminder to us. And that is that when it comes to Jesus and his mission, when it comes to the purpose of Jesus with us, um, meaning our salvation, our forgiveness, um, grace, mercy, his love, you know, basically everything wrapped up in the cross, that when Jesus goes about it, everything happens immediately. Everything is, it, it, it can't happen fast enough. You know, certainly it's happening as Jesus ordains it on his time, time schedule, on his time frame, but everything is coming together really fast and he, he, he is driving towards it. Um, and certainly, you know, when, when he says at the very top of our text today, the, the time is fulfilled. You know, the time is now. It has come to pass. The kingdom of God is at hand. Um, and I mean, he's, when he says the kingdom of God is at hand, he's not only saying, you know, it is like right around the corner. You know, it, it, is, it is right here, ready. It's right there. I mean, the kingdom of God has come in him. So when he's saying it, it, it's at hand, I mean, he's saying it's, it's right here. 
Um, so everything that we see, and, and, and Mark doesn't spend a lot of de time on detail, you know, it's just like, boom, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Jesus is making sure it's happening. And the, uh, the good news, the comfort for, for us reading this text is, is hearing this and understanding that um, no matter what is, no matter what we see going on in the world around us, uh, certainly in our own lives, uh, as we are waiting waiting for peace, waiting for resolution, waiting for things to get better, waiting for healing, waiting for reconciliation, whatever it is that we are waiting for and something that we are, have been asking God for, that we've been praying about and say, Lord, please, please bring this now. Um, this is a text that, that comes to us and reminds us that you know everything that we truly need we have in Jesus Christ. Um, it's it's very hard for us to to see and understand this reality uh, currently in the, in this life, in this uh, this broken world of sin, because um, you know what we see is clearly is is sin everywhere, um, certainly within ourselves and then and everywhere everywhere we look. Um, you know, obviously it's salvation we haven't seen yet. You know, we, we will see it fully on the last day when he returns. And then it'll be, you know, it'll be like opening your eyes and like, oh, this is what it was all about. Great. Cool. And we get little bits and pieces of it. Um, certainly at, at church, throughout the worship service, I've, I've preached on this where, um, you know, everything that happens is a, a foretaste of, of things to come. Um, and we experience them, you know, little, little bits and pieces here and there of um, restoration and whatnot. But, um, you know, when, when we go and, and we face difficult times, when we face death even, it's hard to remember that it's okay. I've, I've got everything I need for this. Um, but, but it really is. I mean, truly in Jesus Christ. And, and especially when we face death, it never becomes more evident than that. Because, I mean, that is the one thing we are not prepared for and cannot handle on our own. We can't deal with it. I mean, it is the end of all things for us in our sinfulness. Um, and yet, in Jesus Christ, we know when we look at that, it, it's, it's got no hold over us. There's nothing there to really be afraid of. Um, doesn't mean we aren't, af we aren't afraid, <laughs> but um, we know in Jesus Christ there's nothing to be afraid of, that, that Christ has, um, has won the victory over it. And so that way, when we come back to today, this moment with whatever we're, we're waiting for, and we read a text like this and we see Jesus doing everything immediately, immediately, either he, he's doing things immediately or things are happening immediately because this is the way he is orchestrating it. Um, you, you just should be reminded that your, your salvation, your, your forgiveness, everything that you need to face the worst this world has to throw at you. Jesus does immediately, has taken care of immediately. Um, you know, you do not have to wait for an answer from Jesus. He's with you. He loves you. He has saved you. That's the answer in, in every situation. Now, there's some, some nuanced extras to that. So, like, you know, well, but are you going to take this away from me right now, Jesus? Well, that might be. That might be not yet. <laughs> that might be a yes. That might be a no. Could be in any of those. But um, the, the foundational answer, the, the, the answer at the root of all this is he has already provided and he's already given you immediately everything you need. Um, so I hope that is something that you can look at today, even in the midst of your suffering and, and, and hear it and read it and, and know that Jesus does not wait. You know, he's not watching you and waiting to see how you do. He's not... Um, there's nothing he's waiting for. He's making, he's made this all happen immediately. He's making it happen immediately. You know, when, when you're looking at something and, and it, well, looking at your suffering and you're wondering and like, God, why, why aren't you here? You know, he works immediately to assure you to, to calm your fears and doubts, say, I am with you. You know, I, I am working in this with you for you to trust in me, um, that I'm, I, I, I forgive you. I love you. You are covered in my uh, my blood and righteousness. Ha do not fear. 
and we say, okay, all right, all right. But then we get afraid again. So we can read this text and we know that immediately he comes to us and says, do not be afraid, I'm with you. Do not be afraid, I'm with you, over and over again. Um, so this is a, a, a wonderful, you know, just with that one little word being repeated can communicate so much um, comfort and relief to us. And I hope, hope that uh, brings some comfort and relief to you today. All right, let us pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty <clears throat> and everlasting God, sorry, you've safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power. And grant this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Well, peace and blessings to you today. Um, hope, uh, hope that comfort comes to you immediately, as, as it should um, in Jesus Christ. And uh, just hope that you have a, uh, a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. So until tomorrow, peace be with you.